Scott Luke is on the speedway. 59 years old, the veteran, not the oldest driver competing this weekend, Al Humphrey at 64 years young. And of course, Billy Moyer at 60 years old. Back at it, but he was 99.9% .9 retired, right? Have you looked at your Twitter feed, by the way? Oh my gosh, it's, it's way out of control. Lighting up, out Use of control. the hashtag MavGV. I think we're going to have to start picking some winners here, by the way, yes, sir. Uh, of what we're giving away here tonight, which is actually a signed hat uh, for 11 winners that we picked. Jim Jam Dirtman. Love that babe. How about that? He is watching from Harvey's Lake, Pennsylvania. On Lucas on Racing TV, by the way. He tweeted me that just a little while ago. Doug Wells, it uh, looks like he might be having a little party right there. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Welcome, Doug, to the uh, broadcast. A lot of uh, pro bowling league action going on in that city. And here's the, uh, a cool situation. Haley Martin camped out in Lake Fort Gibson watching the show me one.
see what Kate Dillard's going to do. Looks like he may go to the pin area here. There's Peyton Looney. A great run here a year ago, making the show the overall fast qualifier, but it looks like his night may have come to an end, Bob. Yeah, it was a sweet show me 100 one year ago. There's Dillard going to the pit area to fix that machine. Don't know if his night is done or not. Still some big names in this one. Uh, you think about Sullivan running second to Jimmy Mars. You see Brandon Shepard uh, is, is back there running about the seventh spot. Frank Hekinan Jr. in the 99 is just in front of him. So there's a long way to go in this one. Still over halfway left in this race. Talked about Chris Davis, Midwest Sheep Metal based in Springfield, Missouri, all the lead us for all these racers, the racetracks and everything. And not only look at Soul Series, providing the spoilers, the day glow orange spoilers, indicating the current points leader. This right now is Jonathan Davenport. Well, 11 to go. We're going to double him up behind Jimmy Mars. Of course, the biggest win of his career came in 1997. Mark Raymond up Speedway. SFI certified seats, uh, self-containment seats, the head and neck restraint. Of course, the drivers required to wear gloves as well, along with their uniform, of course, a helmet and racing shoes. We'll see it again, the tail end of it there, and turn three hard into the wall. And pretty well damaged race car for the Iowa native Matt Furman. But thankfully, he's okay. So a little bit shaken up there, still in the race car there. Just make sure he's okay, Bob. You can see him moving around yeah. and talking to the Lucas Isle safety crew here in Wheatland, Missouri, uh, having a conversation with the driver, and, and they have to figure out how to get this race car off the racetrack. Folks, we'll come Jackson Jr. is going to run the feature, so they've got some damage on that car already now. 
So a little work to be done. We'll take a look at what happened here to Rob down in the corner to bring out another caution 11 laps into this 20 lap race. Yeah, they just all got bunched up there and uh, oh, Vandenberg just hit that inside tire. And then Rob just stopped down there. Vandenberg hit it with the left rear tire too, so we'll have to see. Watch this. Hits it down there and that tire can do a lot more damage than you think, honestly.
jacked up a little bit. Look at Chase Young hands and Austin Siebert and Brandon Shepard. And that caused, that caused honestly, Vandenberg to go to the outside. And Krigler was already out of shape. And the two got together and then collected a bridge. We'll see how many will continue. Mars will still be the leader. There's five laps to come. 15 in the books. Chase Young hands will be second. This is the really model racing throughout the time.